Hi, this is Marie Taylor. I want to do a little show and let you see part of my shop out here in the country. As you can see out front here, I've got some old windows that I'm eventually going to do some stained glass projects into. And here we are walking into my shop. Over here we have some old wood. Uh, my husband and I have a tree farm out in the country and I find a lot of wood and then this is some pieces of the siding that we put on onto an apartment we built for my father-in-law. Uh, up here are some of the Christmas poured, poured uh, acrylics that I did and a couple of the blown glasses that I did in Berea. And here's some more projects that I have done or am in the process of. This is some cross stitch here and here. And this beautiful guy, this is my first piece of fused glass that I did with Ronnie. And then I have some pieces that I hang outside and these are my 3D roses. This is a couple more pieces that I hang outside with my crystals. Up here are some tile that I've done. Key to my heart. Another one with the heart inside. And then another one. And then today, what I've been working on is making some more pieces to go hang in trees. Let's use fishing wire and mirrors and other things I've found, uh, sea glass, some hearts like this that Ronnie made a, long, a while back for me, and this blue one here, and also use beads. And then I also have some really interesting pieces of wood that I'm going to use in the future to put butterflies and um, on and things. Some of my port acrylics. And here are some future port acrylic pieces. And down here I've been getting ready to work on making some more mosaics. And this is a piece that I made with Pat Williams in her class a couple of years ago. And this is the most recent one we did with Pat Williams in her class. And here are some pieces of mosaic besides using glass of these parts. And then back here in the back, I have some um, old chandeliers that I'll eventually chain, clean up, and fix up to. And then some more older poured acrylics. And I have a lot of boxes that um, I have marked that have things in them. Um, all my beads. And this is for spatulas and paint bottles. A few pieces of my glass that I have out, large pieces. And some more crystals. And then this is, um, I'm just going to do some casting with uh, just pretty much easy to cast. And I had some hearts. And then I broke up some stained glass. And there's two ways I do it. I do it in a, with this part here, break them up like that. And then my brother made this for me. And you put the glass in that cylinder, and then this is real heavy, and you do it that way. And that's how I got this glass. And it's really safe because you don't have to worry about it shattering in your eyes. And then here's my grinder for some of my stained glass. And here's some where I kind of work to cut glass. I'm in the process of making some birds in this area. And up here is a port acrylic. We used a old record, 33 style record, and did port acrylics and made a clock. And then up here are some old stained glasses that I made probably five or six years ago of my cat who passed away. And he's, that's my memory of him. So this is my little shop in the country, and uh, I try to keep things organized. Better to do that than stumble around 
And I have a lot of drawers here that I keep all different colored glass in. So I'm really lucky to have that. And as you can see down the hall, there's more cabinets that I have marked with different things. So this is my little shop in the country. I hope you enjoy the visit.